Hi, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the French drop. There's a lot of films on YouTube where people try it out and I see a lot of mistakes being made and I'm going to try and tell you why I think those are mistakes and hopefully make you be able to do it better. Quite often I see it done like this. There's a few things wrong with that. Firstly, I don't like having to turn my body to do a move. It signals that there's a move coming, puts too much attention on the move, and yeah, it's just wrong. So, first, mostly I, I present only to one or two people at a time, so turning a body like that, it just doesn't fit in naturally. Therefore, I, I want to do the move right in front of me, you know, in a natural position where I hold my hands. And that means that if you hold a coin like this, it, it doesn't work in front of you. You know, you want to show the coin, you don't want to have it like that. That's why I always hold a coin like this, between two fingers. It's a bit more natural, you can easily show the coin. Holding it like this just doesn't work for me. It might do if it were a, a ball, because then it doesn't matter which way around it is. But with a coin, this is, this is better. Another problem with holding it like this is that you see people tilting it up so that it, it drops easily. Well, if you hold it like this, the, the tilting it up is a much more natural movement. It's, yeah, it's how your hands would naturally drop. Next there's uh, another problem, which is the grab. In the, you see people trying to sort of grab the whole, wrap the whole fist around it. Maybe with a, a large ball that's fine, but with a coin, that's stupid. So if I held a coin like this, I just pick it up, you know, between my fingers like this. So that's what you have to do if you do a French drop. You have to pretend to pick it up, just like you would normally. Another thing is when you actually drop this this coin into your hand, you might be tempted to lift your thumb. And that's another obvious tell that something's wrong. When I grab my hand, grab the coin, I don't lift this thumb. If anything, this the fingers drop slightly, but that's natural because yeah, you do drop your hand. So if you grab the coin and this thumb doesn't lift up. Lastly, I want to just say you also quite often see, see the hand movement of the grabbing hand fairly done fairly robotically, sort of holding this the hand with the coin very still and this hand coming in and coming out. Uh, that again, that, that's just stupid. It, you're natural if you yeah, hand over the coin, you know, to, to move this hand in, grab it, and move them apart again. Both hands move slightly. Of course, the hand receiving the coin has to move a bit more so that the spectator follows it. And it's also better if, if the grabbing hand, if it uh, has a slight uh, curving motion, you know, it goes, goes around. Because that draws in the eye of the spectator. So, now all you have to do is just practice uh, picking up the coin for real, putting it back, and, and then doing it sort of feck and putting it back. And uh, yeah, just uh, have at it.